Hey, it's Alex again. Today I'm going to show you how to build a little bit more of a complicated web application that incorporates a lot more calculations and formulas than the, uh, the previous one. We took a look at the, the simple timesheet web app. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, dashboards. We're actually specifically going to be working with a global electricity consumptions dashboard. It contains a lot of data from uh, various nations and, uh, and continents. And we're just going to create an uh, easy to use web application for like an end user. So what we want to do is get started by going up to add-ins. You want to hit spreadsheet web, launch the wizard again, and click next. We want to start by adding the first worksheet page and you want to define the display area. For those of you who weren't here the first time around, basically this is what the end user is going to see when they open up the web application. So we just want to show them this dashboard. So we're going to click OK. We're going to convert all of our charts this time around. All right, so what we're gonna to need to do is select our input cells. So basically we're gonna to go to select a range of cells manually, click this little button right here and select these three boxes up top. And uh, basically these are all combo boxes. So we're just gonna to have to turn them into combo boxes because they represent the entire info for this entire dashboard. Okay, so we have 2005, which is our, our year input. So we just want to click right into type and hit the combo box. And here we're gonna be selecting all the list items. So you wanna go up to calculate and you start with uh, right up top 1980 and just drag all the way across and these are all the list items for that combo box and then for North America we want to do the same the combo box go over to calculate and select the various continents and then for the United States it's the same thing again going to go over and select all the nations and basically we're selecting a bunch of empty cells but there are in fact calculations in them that define you know they they change based on what continent you're looking at so the, the continents will uh, define what shows up in in that particular box I'm just gonna click next we can uncheck the calculate box and let's uh, enable Ajax automatic calculations hit next and we're basically all set so next again Going to convert. It'll take a little bit longer than the timesheet app. I want to upload. So again, you can find a free trial account on spreadsheetweb.com. And so basically, your spreadsheet application will open up. You can see here we have North America. We're looking at the United States, uh, the year 2004. You can see all the charts, the same ones. If we want to change the year, let's say to 1991. We can see all the charts from 1991, all the North American consumption. We can change the uh, continent. Let's take a look at Europe. And then we can change you know, the country. We'll look at, let's say, the Czech Republic. And you can see that basically everything works pretty seamlessly. Uh, it took us little to no time to, uh, to actually create these charts, to create this dashboard. And it was just a, a simple, quick web application, uh, even though it's a lot more complicated than the first one we looked at, it still really didn't take us very much time. So yeah, it looks like we're all set. You have the, uh, the web applications all done. And again, thanks so much for listening.